Hello again, welcome back to another Ichidan vlog. I'm Drew. I'm Mike. And uh, this is going to be one of our, our last posts, unfortunately. I'm leaving. Tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> We've been eating a whole bunch of weird stuff lately. Uh, most recently at my one of my goodbye dinners. And I had something that Mike has had before, right? You had before. Yeah, yeah I had scorpions once. Yes, yes. Uh, in China. <laughs> mm -hmm. We went to a Chinese restaurant. Yeah. <clears throat> and uh, they had scorpions on the menu. I'd never tried it before. I uh, gave it a little whirl. It was a little terrifying. Everyone demanded that I ate the largest scorpion, and other people nibbled on the little grasshopper-sized scorpions. Yeah. The big one was a doozy. <laughs> it was a doozy. You had to chew that one for a while. Yeah, they, they served it to me with the tail removed, and I didn't know whether I should eat it or not. I did, and my stomach was like, whoa for like five minutes or so, but I mean, it was fine, it was fine, you know. It's my favorite part about that whole story is uh, some of Drew's friends here want to make sure he got a farewell party. They were asking, where, you know, where does Drew want to go? They're asking me where Drew wants to go, and I was like, well, I'll ask the man himself. Drew, where, where do you want to eat? And Drew was just like, I want to eat bugs. And I was like, you were in the right country to do so, yeah. Drew. <laughs> Another crazy place that Drew wanted to go, um, and I'm all for adventure, but he wanted to go to Mayonnaise Kitchen? Yeah, Mayonnaise Kitchen. Mayonnaise Kitchen. It's gross as it sounds, but I figured, why not? What kind of food would they have in Mayonnaise Kitchen? Surprisingly, every, everything, everything in, in, their, in their kitchen was covered in mayonnaise. Uh, to include their cocktails. I had a mayo garita. It was one of the better parts of the meal, surprisingly. It, that was strange. Most of the food was so horrible, but the mayonnaise... Margarita, the mayo garita was actually quite good. It started out okay with a salad with some mayonnaise on it. That was okay. And then dish after dish after dish came, because we ordered like the all-you-can-eat mayonnaise fest. Like we probably consumed about a liter of mayonnaise each. Mm. After like the third dish, we weren't even eating it for pleasure anymore or hunger. It was just, we didn't want to be rude. Yeah. <laughs> but, like, the chef kept bringing us famous mayonnaise dishes. We could see him cooking more, so we, yeah. did, we didn't want to disappoint. <laughs> like, it was just like forcing it down. It was so gross. And yeah. then everyone's favorite burger joint, Wendy's, has come back to Japan. Yeah, so let me, let me give you a quick history lesson. There used to be 400 Wendy's here in Japan. Um, and then they all just went out of business. Wendy's just straight up, up and left and got replaced by Moe's Burger uh, and other various burger joints that were all already kind of established here. And so Wendy's was gone and, you know, I was sad. But then they decided that they're going to try to market themselves not like your typical burger joint. So here, Wendy's is the, like, upper class burger joint. There are chandeliers in the Wendy's. So it's like, like Mick Cafe, you know, that kind of... Starbucks vibe going on, times that by a hundred, and that is the classiness of one use in Japan. The kind of place that you bring a classy young lady on a date for a, uh, a frosty and a lobster and caviar burger, which mm -hmm. Drew, Drew ordered. I got the lobster caviar burger, I also got the surf and turf burger, which is a normal uh, burger with lobster added on top. The caviar lobster burger is a misnomer, it's just yeah. lobster with caviar on it. Uh, they were both quite good. Real lobster, mind you. They're both like $20 burgers. Delicious. I like the lobster caviar bar better. It's a little bit lighter. Um, I like the surf and turf. Mm. But either way, I mean, that lobster was like, it was, it was real lobster. It wasn't mm. like can't, it was like thick lobster. Me, I looked at all the various faux gras burgers. I mean, just like top of the line burgers. And I ordered the Baconator because <laughs> nothing better than eight strips of bacon, four patties of beef on a burger. And so typically, when I think of, when I was in America, when I thought of Japanese food, I thought sushi, rice, fish. That was really all I could think of. Chicken teriyaki. Ch chicken teriyaki. Just was, yeah. Can't even find it here. <laughs> um, and then the sushi that I'm thinking is like American sushi, like the rolls with the rice on the outside, mm -hmm. California rolls and everything. Mm -hmm. But having lived here, reality? Completely different. Different. Sushi, yes, but not like American sushi at all. It's all sashimi, just... A strip of fish over rice, not not wrapped in it, not with mayonnaise and, and everything like that. So that, that's the typical sushi here and onigiri, which I think Drew basically ate his weight in the thing Daily. here, <laughs> which is like a rice ball with a different t different fish or meat or something in the middle of a, of a ball of rice wrapped up in seaweed. Typically, it's described, you know, but we can't read the kanji for it, yeah. so it's always a surprise. It's always Christmas. It's always like a box of chocolates. Mm -hmm. um, you might get a delicious salmon. Or you might get the pickled radish. Yeah, mm. the, which is disgusting. Mm. All right, I think that's all we got for you. Uh, this is, uh, there's no coming back from this, Mike. Well, whatever country we find ourselves in next, Drew. That's true. 
Until then, we're signing off. Ichidam. 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 Boosh. All right. It fell apart. <laughs> <laughs>